Hello, eighth graders. My name is Susan Anichantic, and I will be your teacher today. The topic of today's lesson are idioms with nature words. I hope you enjoy it. During and after the lesson, you will use the nature words in idioms. You will assume the meaning of an idiom based on the picture and context. Make dialogues using the idioms and create a poster with the topic climate action. For this lesson, you will need internet access, a laptop, tablet or a mobile phone, a notebook and a pencil. Every year on the 22nd of April, people around the world celebrate Earth Day. Now, I think that Earth definitely deserves to have a day. What do you think? I'm sure you agree with me. After all, every mother deserves a day, right? And we do call Earth Mother Earth. Now, I would like you now to watch a video. So if you follow this link or scan the code, you can watch uh, an interesting video and then come back. So you can stop this video and follow the link. See you later. And we're back. What do you say? Are you impressed? Did you like it? Are you in awe? I know I was when I first saw it. Mother Earth, or better yet, Mother Nature is really breathtaking, wouldn't you say? Okay, let's move on now. I would like you to do a little task. So please follow the link or scan the code and do the task concerning the video that you just see. After watching Julia Roberts speak for nature, I have two questions for you. The first one is, does nature need people? Uh, the obvious answer is, of course, no. But do people need nature? Also the obvious answer, yes. No matter what we do to it, nature always finds a way to regenerate. Yes, we absolutely need nature. There is no life without it or without her. We need her so much that uh, we even use her in the language. Take a look at this picture. A man beating a bush. Read a phrase. Beat about the bush. Do you have any idea what it means? Is it really taking a bat and hitting bush? No, of course not. It is an idiom. It is a nonsensical sentence that has a completely different meaning than the words it is made of. And this precise idiom means, maybe you know, it means avoid talking about a difficult or embarrassing subject, speak indirectly, or in Croatian, okolishati. Take a look at these beautiful pictures of nature. Can you name them? Let's play and see. Please follow this link or scan the code and play the game. It will help you remember or learn some nature words. Now that you've revised the words or learned them, Let's try to use them in idioms. Take a look at the sentences and the pictures. Which word comes here? To bark up the wrong tree. Not to see the hmm for the trees. Woods. Yes. To nip something in the But to offer an olive branch to hit the hay 
to have green fingers or a thumb. To come up, look at this beautiful picture, to come up, roses. To turn over a new leaf, yes. The is always greener on the other side. Grass. As fresh as a daisy. A needle in a haystack. A late. Bloomer, a thorn in your side, and the last one, a shrinking violet. I'm sure you did this task really well. Now, let's see how well you understand the meaning of different idioms. Follow this link or scan the code and play the game. Now that you've learned the meaning of idioms in English, let's find their Croatian equivalents. You do remember that we do not translate idioms word for word. They wouldn't make any sense. Also, we can literally translate some of them to Croatian, but not all of them. Therefore, a needle in the, in the haystack is translated literally, iglo plaš do siena. However, as fresh as daisy, means nothing in Croatian, if you translate the phrase literally. In Croatian, we say svež kao rosa. So, let's play this memory game. Follow the link or scan the code. Now that we've learned the Croatian version of some English nature idioms, it's time to use them in context, in a sentence. So, follow the link or scan the code and see how well you can use English nature idioms. It's your turn now to be creative. I would like you to choose six idioms and make dialogues. Here is an example. Look at David. He's as fresh as a daisy. Yes, isn't he? He's just returned from his holidays on Hawaii. So you will have to stop the video now, take your notebooks and write down your six dialogues. When you finish, take a look at the table and check if you have included all the necessary elements in your dialogues. So check if there is an idiom in every dialogue, if the context of a dialogue makes the idiom easy to understand, and see if you have any spelling or punctuation mistakes. Remember Julia Roberts from the beginning of our lesson, uh, giving her voice to Mother Nature? Well, other celebrities wanted to have a go as well. They liked it. So they gave their voices to different elements of nature. And it's quite amazing, I have to tell you. So, if you visit the page on the screen, or scan the code, you will see who speaks for which element or force of nature. You can stop the video now, watch the videos and come back. And if you're back, there is a task for you. Visit the link or scan the code and do the task. Would you like to know what force of nature you are? If the answer is yes, follow the link or scan the code and do the quiz. You will have to scroll down the page a little bit because the quiz is somewhere on the bottom of the page. Okay. This year, it is Earth's 50th anniversary. Every year, Humans celebrate Earth's birthday through different themes. In 2016, the theme or topic was Trees for the Earth. 2017, 
Environmental and Climate Literacy. 2018, End Plastic Pollution. 2019, Protect Our Species. And this year, 2020, the topic is Climate Action. If you follow this link, you can find out more about the Earth Day 2020 poster contest. Although it is too late for you to enter the contest this year, you can bookmark this page and enter the competition next year. But this year we can definitely practice. So your task is to create a poster with the topic climate action, of course. And the tools that you can use are Canva or PowerPoint or some other tool. If you have an interesting tool that you know, you can use it to make a poster. Before doing the poster, go through the poster checklist. Make sure that it includes the title, the text and the photographs. That information on the poster is logically organized that the photographs are connected with a theme or a topic and they additionally explain it, and that all the borrowed photographs have a source next to them. Well, that will be all for today from me. Happy Earth Day, everyone, and hopefully I'll see you soon. Goodbye.